Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. The purpose of this video is to um, explore and look at ways of unlocking up um, a laser engine that's also got no compression. It came with this model here, a DR1. That was a lovely gift from a subscriber, Paul Carruthers. And I, I want to see if I can get this engine running. It's lacking compression, which I think might be due to the valves being stuck. And the carburetor is, is totally seized up. So I'm going to try and attempt to get some life going in this. And if it does, then it's going back into the plane and we'll try and get it into the air in quick order um, if we have the weather god smiling on us. And then, if all goes well, I'll look at um, reimagining the colour scheme to make it a bit more vibrant. Stay tuned, folks. Get your favourite tipple at hand. Well, here we have it. This is the engine removed from the triplane. Um, it's not a bad, bad nick at all. Uh, this is paint which is burnt onto the exhaust. Um, but that's the, the carb is thoroughly locked, which is probably what's going on inside here, as in addition to the valves perhaps being gunked up, I think the O-ring, uh, or the piston ring, rather, may be in the... Um, compressed state and it's only loosening up when I apply heat so well the first thing to do is to take this off and there's a little allen key here and it's sort of clamped on <clears throat> as I recall these weren't made by laser um, they were taken from another engine and um, I'll check what that is and I'll put it below on this model so the first thing is to take this off and I'm going to steep it in some old uh, glow fuel and just leave it for a few hours and see what happens. And then we'll, we'll come back to it. Hopefully this Alan key. Yeah. Well, obviously it's... Oh, it's gone. There we go. That's removed and yeah we'll get that into some fuel and see what it's like well <clears throat> after soaking in fuel which didn't seem to make much difference WD-40 which didn't work um, what I did was I applied some heat and I'm really beginning to suspect that the whole issue here is castor oil um as you can see everything's freed up i may have lost the lower needle setting but we'll sure find that out um if it is about uh, there you go you can see, hopefully see we've got the movement back if it is an issue of castor oil that would explain that when i've put the heat on the cylinder head the compression started to come back it may not be the, the valves, it may actually be the piston ring sticking, uh, gummed up. I think the only way we're going to find is to get this in a stand um, and get some fuel through it and see if we can get it to pop. That's the next stage. Okay, I've got the engine set up, there's zero compression on it, so I don't expect a lot. But let's just see what happens. I've pumped some fuel through. Uh, managed to get it to draw some so that's an encouraging sign next thing let's try it with a little bit of juice on it um, but as I say I don't expect a great deal but I do have a plan B here goes Nothing. So, plan B, 
is to apply some heat to this. Bear with me. Right, after it not running properly, uh, I've actually messed around with the carb and I'll explain how, uh, if this works, we'll try firing it up um, and I'll tell you what I've done. Fingers crossed, this time it'll go. encouraging Well there you go, that was a resounding success. I didn't even attempt to lean the needle out, I just knew it runs and I'm happy with that. So what did I do with the carb to get it sorted, having lost all of the factory settings? <clears throat> well, the approach I took is I put a new length of line on, because you're going to put your mouth to that line and you're going to blow down it. And what I do is I close the large needle valve for the high end, and the, low lead, and the low needle valve fully. And then you slowly screw out the low needle valve until you can just blow air through the tube. And I got that actually quite surprisingly at about six. Turns out, must be the peculiarities of this carb. <clears throat> and then once that's set at the lower end, top end takes care of itself. I always go for around about two wind outs and then take it from there. Once it's in the model, I'll fine tune it and adjust the throws. But there we have it. Getting an engine back to life. It's now got a nice compression to it. I'm pleased with that. We'll get everything installed and give it a go. And then I'll think about what I'm going to do with this beast of a model. Let's take up quite a bit of the dining area. If you've enjoyed that little journey, please give me a thumbs up. It helps. And if you haven't subscribed... Why not join the fun and join more Croucher RC fun? Be creative.